let's take a look at the top five highest graded Mountaineer players on defense in game five of the 2022 WVU football season. Kicking it off at number five, we were ended the offensive one on the offensive line. We'll begin the defensive players on the defensive line, starting with the defensive end, Edward Vesterinen, with a 71.9 grade for the Mountaineers on defense in this one, more commonly known as Eddie V, and he's been having a quietly good season. The Mountaineers have gone to a four-down front some at times. I think a little bit of that is due to um, some injuries at Bandit, uh, Jared Bartlett nursing one currently. But, you know, also one seems trying big boy them, they'll go four down. And Ed, Eddie V is a guy that comes in in that situation a lot, along with Mike Lockhart. But I think he's really shown a lot of good progress there on that defensive line for the Mountaineers as a player that's fully capable of coming in and filling in at any time needed and getting a good amount of playing time. And I think he's got a really bright future for the Mountaineers. Uh, moving forward is probably – the most successful of the international players that they've gotten up to this point. And I think he may end up having the best career of those said players as well moving forward. But against Texas, he finishes as the fifth highest grade of Mountaineer on defense with a 71.9 defensive grade. And then here at number four, talking about those bandits, and we have one in Linnell Carr with a 72.2 defensive grade for the Mountaineers against Texas got the start in this game actually as I said Jared Bartlett nursing an injury and so he saw the majority of the snaps there at the Bayonet position when the Mountaineers decided to play with one and I thought maybe had what quietly could have been the one of the better games of his Mountaineer career and the numbers tend to show that out as well as he finishes as the fourth highest graded Mountaineer with a 72.2 grade and that's good to see because the Mountaineers really need production from that band of position moving forward and he's going to play a hand in that along with Bartlett this season and possibly beyond as well so then moving on to the third highest graded Mountaineer on defense against Texas, and that was Dante Stills with a 74.8 defensive grade from his defensive tackle position. And listen, guys, I know a lot of people have been trying to harp. Dante Stills isn't showing up on the stat sheet, and I've been hearing these player grades videos telling you every week, and I'm going to tell you yet again because he's here every time. And every time he's here because he's doing his job, he's commanding double teams. He's not popping out on the stat sheet because he's a main focus of the other team's offensive game plan for the most of the time is not letting Dante Stills beat them. So he's commanding double teams, but that's allowing some of these other guys to make plays. That's why you're seeing the Eddie V's pop up on here, the little nail cars. That's why Jordan Jefferson has had such a good season to this point, I would even argue, as well as Sean Martin. So Dante Stills may not be popping up on the stat sheet, but he is still having – a good season as far as his performance wise and what he's doing for the Mountaineers. And hopefully that continues. And, you know, as he continues to work hard and do the things that he's doing, I think the stats will come as well as he continues to play within this scheme. But either way, bright future for Dante Steele's not only for the rest of the season, but at the next level as he continues his football playing career uh, beyond the Mountaineers in 20, after 2022. And I'm really excited to see where he ends up. But continuing to be one of the highest graded Mountaineers on defense, and that is no different here against Texas in Game 5 as he's the third highest graded Mountaineer with a 74.8 defensive grade. Top two here, Aubrey Burks for the Mountaineers coming back. Been battling an injury. I thought he played really good early in the season, and in this game impressed as well, uh, playing that free safety spot for the Mountaineers, coming out with a 76.7 defensive grade, and that was great to see for Aubrey Burks, and I think the standout play, of course, everyone kind of looks to is the way that he defended that pass on, I believe it was Texas's first, might have been their opening drive in the second half, if not, it was their second, but he was in perfect position on the pass, also went up and high-pointed the ball, the only thing he didn't do was secure the pass, of course, ended up as a Texas touchdown as it went through his hands and fell right into the arms of Xavier Worthy, who was laying on the ground just you know, the ball definitely not bouncing the Mountaineers way on that one, uh, literally and uh, figuratively. But that being said, Aubrey Burks, I thought, showed a lot on that play. And he's show, shown a lot this season as being, you know, one of the better parts of a extremely weak secondary. He's been one of the lone bright spots. And that's good to see as him only being a sophomore. So hopefully he continues to progress and can help sure up that secondary for the Mountaineers because they're going to need it uh, this season and beyond. That's for sure. And speaking of, the top graded player for the Mountaineers comes from that secondary, actually, in this game against Texas, and that is Andrew Wilson Lamp, who comes out as the highest graded Mountaineer player on defense in game five with a 77.8 defensive grade, playing that cornerback spot. 
And look, what stands out here to you is that number two and number one are both from the secondary. That's extremely surprising. But the bright spot of that is that both of these guys are very young. Wilson Lamp, I believe, is a redshirt freshman. As I said, Burke's a sophomore. So both extremely young. But play the young guys more. That's what everyone is preaching about with the secondary, with the struggles you know that we've seen with the um, FCS transfer, McCormick, uh, Rashad Ajayi, mixed bag as well but the secondary has been a been very bad and I think looking at these numbers right here bear this out that some of these young guys that the coaches didn't believe were ready to play are the ones that are really performing whether it be Andrew Wilson Lamp this game Jacoby spells the game before Aubrey Burks this game as well but I think Andrew Wilson Lamp definitely deserves more playing time he's a you know a guy that's we've been like where has he been because you know we saw him in the spring and then Finally, he pops up in this game. I think he played about 25 snaps, gives the only pass deflection for the Mountaineers, and finishes with the highest grade with a 77.8, which is an impressive defensive grade uh, for the Mountaineers on defense in Game 5. So hopefully we see more of him moving forward because, as I said, the Mountaineers desperately need to shore up the secondary not only this season but beyond for sure. So there it is, the top five graded defensive players for the Mountaineers in Game 5 in the loss to the Texas Longhorns. That being said, as always, I'm Jordan Cruz, and until next time, let's go, Mountaineers. If you really want to know, then come on, let's go. Take a stroll down those...